A Randy Orton rumor has been debunked. A Raw star has made a surprise cameo outside of WWE, and Logan Paul has been warned by Triple H and then ignored the warning straight away. It's all in the news right now. But first, we are going to give you a bit of an update on an absent WWE star. If you're one of the four people that watches WWE main event, you will have seen that Apollo Crews made his return to the ring in an unfortunate losing effort to Ludwig Kaiser this week. This was the first time we've seen Apollo Crews in a WWE ring since the summer. We got a bit of an update from the man himself on Instagram. Yes, he said, uh, had a little injury that kept me out of the ring for a few months. Feel, uh, felt great to be back in the ring. Yeah, so it had been sort of rumoured for a little while that it was an injury that was yeah. keeping him off of TV. He, he did a fair bit in NXT. Oh, he did a and lot, yeah. Dra- redrafted, I guess, to, to Monday Night Raw. He's made minimal appearances since then, to be honest. Two losses to Judgment Day members. He was in a battle royal. Didn't win any of it. He actually tends to win fairly often mm. on on the live event circuit, but rarely on TV, on the main oh. roster anyway. Which sucks because, yeah, that time in NXT felt really promising for him and it felt like he was getting away from some of the other stuff that he'd been given on the main roster prior. So him coming to Raw, it felt quite uh, quite hopeful that something good would sort of come his way and, and things will kick off again for him. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, an injury's kept him away for a little bit and hopefully he does get back to that level again. I hope I'm wrong here. I think he's a bit done for. They've Ooh. tried so many times no, with him. Mm. Coming back and then immediately losing. I hope there's there's a plan for him. I think maybe the obvious thing to do with him is put him in Lashley's stable. Ooh. I'd be up for that. That, yeah. None of the character stuff with Apollo Crews has ever worked for me. You mean you don't like it when he sees into the future? Mm. That's great. Uh, but in, in Ring, he's... An unbelievable yeah. talent, yeah. but he's never properly clicked. Uh, I hope he does well because he, he is good. He's, mm. a, he's a charismatic guy, but mm-hmm. it's just never, for me anyway, worked on the main roster. Um, or especially in NXT, actually. Yeah. Either. <laughs> the in ring stuff in NXT was good, I thought, at it, least anyway. At the it's, same it's conversation. The, it's the character stuff. Every time we talk about Apollo Crews, mm. it's always like, man, he's good in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Something's missing. Mm. Anyway, moving on. Speaking of something missing. Um, <laughs> Talent. Nia Jax, uh, we've got a bit of an update on, on her as well and the backstage reaction to her WWE re-signing. Um, according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful, there were a couple of eye rolls from WWE talent when Jax was re-signed. This took place on a Fightful Q&A and he continued saying, as far as that one, it did get a couple of eye rolls from talent that I talked to for sure. But that being said, at least one of those people that shot me those eye rolls have said, you know what, her work's been pretty good since she came back. Nobody's gotten hurt. (laughs) Which is good. That's a bonus. It's a bonus. You'd hope that's the least you can ask for. (laughs) Looks like she's worked to get in a better shape and the like. Um, So are you enjoying her return? I could take it or leave it, to be honest. It's just there, isn't she? Yeah, at the moment. And I mean, I I feel like as long as... Because she's been sort of like part... part of the furniture with WWE for for quite a while. Uh, I feel like as long as she's coming back to give something to other talents, then Mm. I'm okay with that. You know, if she's there and she is like seen as this monster of a of a woman on the roster, if there's people that can get her over, like younger talents that can that can like you know pin her and and make them look really good from beating Nia Jax, then I'm happy with Jax being back and being put into that role. Yeah, for sure. I thought they would have used. Uh, I, I mean. I still think they'll eventually do the Rhea Ripley, Nia Jax thing. I thought that mm-hmm. was going to be a Survivor Series feud yeah. where Nia didn't take the pin at the last premium live event, but obviously it's not gone that way. Um, she, You know what? She is looking in, in better shape yeah. than she was. Nobody's been injured as well. Like the was fact said you have there, to say Steve. that, though. The uh, we, fact yeah, that, that you have is to say that, that, isn't it, too? Oh, it, 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 it's, it's, been, it's been all right, actually. She hasn't yeah. injured anyone. <laughs> Moving on. Wow. Uh, Some WWE and AEW stars appearing at DDT Pro Ultimate Party. Yesterday, Chris Jericho making his debut for DDT Pro Wrestling, facing Takeshita at Ultimate Party 2023. Uh, He picked up the win, and it was his first match in Japan since 2020. Wow. I love this, right? Yeah. Because... Like, Jericho, he's at the point in his career that he could just be like, no, I'll just do AEW. Mm. He's there week in, week out, and he's still keen to do other stuff. He's gone back to Japan. He didn't need to be doing any of that. No. And uh, and he beat Takeshita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
And he's put over young Tony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's no, not. I know what you value, mean. I, I, don't, I do know what you mean, yeah. Uh, but it wasn't just AEW there. WWE as well. Um, veteran uh, Saki Akai ending her in-ring career. She was honoured with a video package with messages of love and support. Loads and loads of names on there. Amongst the faces on the screen was Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, with a raw logo on the screen behind him, Nakamura wishing her a happy retirement. Lovely to see. It's always mm-hmm. nice when you see WWE allowing their talent to do the odd bit here and there for non-WWE <laughs> yeah, companies. Of course, especially when, you know, like a lot of these talent have, have come up together and a lot of them have influenced one another as well. Like someone like Shinsuke, especially, you know, we saw the stuff with the great Mutra as well. So yep. it's, it's nice to see him sort of pay it respects. Is. And a former NXT star there as well, Ikemen Jiro making his return to DDT Pro under his new moniker, uh, moniker sorry, Kurishio Tokyo Japan. Uh, and he defeated Takeshi Masada on that show. Uh, next up, uh, a very serious story. Logan Paul <laughs> has been warned by Triple H and then, God, he's got heat right now. He's gone, he's gone and ignored that warning. Uh, Logan Paul appearing on Jake Paul's YouTube channel. I was one of the first viewers I was actually got in there for the yeah, yeah. first time. I'm first. a big, big fan of those YouTube channels. Um, <laughs> that he had been engaging in certain activities while wearing the United States Championship. What did he say? He said, I just took a shower with this belt on. I ran a 5K earlier with this belt on. This belt never leaves my waist. I in this belt. This belt means everything to me. I swear, Triple H, he came up to me. He said, Logan, congratulations on the belt. One thing we've really been cautious about here in the organization is making sure our our athletes are not effing in their belts. He's ignored the warning. He's ignored it. And he's immediately bragged about it. I think it's an absolute disgrace. Uh, he's been posting, you know what? He's doing exactly what he should have been doing. Not yep. the not the porking with the belt on, <laughs> but his Instagram, all of his social media, absolutely full of images of him doing quite humorous things yeah. with the belt, showing it off. That's what he's there for. Yeah, that's what we thought he was going to do in the first place when he, once he picked this up, right? So, And he, he seems like genuinely proud of it. Which like, I think... He, you can tell he's a proper wrestling fan and yeah. he's loving it right now mm-hmm. uh, and he's putting more eyes on the belt therefore more eyes on WWE's product but that's disgraceful to be honest Dis- the well- lineage of that 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 championship and he's getting fluids well, <laughs> potentially I don't know I'm that's sure not in the report. worst things that have been on those belts to be fair no, especially definitely. in the grubby hands of Rey Mysterio what are you talking about <laughs> uh, we are finishing off with uh A Randy Orton rumour that has been doing the rounds. You will have probably seen this by now. It's been uh, attributed to various news sites, and we want to debunk this rumour via Fightful. Um, The source is saying that Orton, following his return, and when that happens, if you don't want spoilers, I guess turn off now, the return is planned for Survivor Series, according to reports, um, with with it being announced ahead of time. So that might happen on Raw tonight, it might mm. be next week. It, it's going to happen ahead of time to get rid of the CM Punk chance. Um, but there's this these rumors going around saying that Orton was planned to win a major championship after his return. That's not the case. Uh, Fightful Select reporting that the idea of that happening hasn't even been broached within WWE. So if you've seen that rumor going around, it's, it's, it's not not on the cards. Yeah. Would you be up for him having one more world title, uh, Rain? Yeah. Yeah, I would as yeah, well. Yeah, I think I, I think I would. I think it'd be a nice little way for no. And do you know what? Like, I, I feel like I say this every time when we get someone who returns who's been out for a little bit. They they return, and I'm like, do you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing them have one more world title run, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, yeah, that necessarily doesn't have to happen for someone to have like a nice way to go out. But for someone like Randy Orton, I feel like it would be, you know, yeah. someone who who kind of like to me is synonymous with world championships. Oh yeah, for sure. Like holding world championships and stuff like that. In fact, him to have like maybe one f- one more final run before he decides to go you know what i'm gonna dip out this is my last sort of run i'm good now put somebody else over at the end i'm yeah. more than happy for that yeah yeah i agree i think the timing is crucial the timing yes. has to be absolutely yeah. right i don't mm-hmm. think the timing is right now um but one more go with the world heavyweight title i think that would be so good i think that's the be one great. that i uh, that, that i associate him with the most at least oh, anyway, for sure. personally so for sure. yeah 
Um, anyway, that is it from us. I'm, you know what? I'm just buzzing to hear that Randy's coming back. Yeah, me too. It, it did look for a little while, and reports were circulating that he might be done. Mm-hmm. This might be mm-hmm. it. So it's great to hear that he will be, fingers crossed, returning very, very soon. Thank you ever so much for watching. Cheers. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Uh, and we will be back with more news tomorrow. Check cutholic.com. Can't do outros. See ya. Bye. <laughs>